Hello, fellow movie watchers. Tis I, the Rumpled One. Movies I've watched. Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, I guess you're probably waiting for me to review this one. Funny thing is, on the one hand, movie really isn't that good. But on the other hand, it's kind of deep in a way. I mean, it's about this guy, Mr. Grey, who, uh... Well, if you've seen the previews, it looks like it's a bondage movie because he wants to tie the girl up and have his way with her and, and submission, domination, discipline. But if you get past all that, because really the sex is almost secondary to the movie, and you look at what's going on in his head, you can see this guy is really a troubled, troubled dude. He's, uh, as he says, he's 50 shades of uh, effed up. But the thing about this movie is it's almost a ripoff of Nine and a Half Weeks, <laughs> which is a classic. I mean, basically, it's about a guy who wants to control or dominate a woman and just make her, you know, do as he wishes. So it's an interesting movie, not really for kids. There's some nudity in it, but like I said, it's really secondary to the film, in my opinion. Moving on. TV show, Anger Management. <laughs> Good buddy Charlie Sheen. Funny thing about Charlie, I watched season one. <laughs> it's funny. Charlie just seems like he's Charlie. I mean, I don't know if he's acting or if he's being himself. Either way, he comes across as genuine. So either he's a really good actor or he's just being himself. But in this case, he's a uh, former baseball player who, um, because of his anger, um, could no longer play baseball. And so he got a degree in psychology. And so now he leads uh, anger management groups. It's pretty funny. So... It's a definite watch. I can't wait to get season two. Great World of Sound. This movie's pretty funny. It's, uh, it's about the music industry, and actually it's more about, I guess you could say, the scam producers, scam record labels, where they would go out and they would sucker um, musicians into paying to get their record to, you know, promote it and, and burned or I guess or cut back then you cut a record you burn a CD um, but anyway it's just kind of funny the uh, interactions and and if you're into sales or like watching movies about sales it's just pretty funny some of the shenanigans these guys pull off moving on John Travolta the forger this is a pretty cool movie um, he gets out of prison then he has to pay back a favor and he has to deal with his dad, he has to deal with his son, and this movie is, you know, all about those dynamics, the, uh, the relationships. It's definitely worth a watch. And the plot's pretty good, too. Not too hokey. And finally, Kidnapping Mr. Heineken, based on a true story. And we've got Anthony Hopkins. Right there, you know it's going to be a good movie. I don't think he's made a turkey correct me if I'm wrong but in this case these guys kidnap them and they almost get away with it but I mean once again you can see how you know crime doesn't pay and how these guys on the one hand they can be so smart yet all they have to do is one stupid thing and the whole it's like a thread the whole thing unravels so anyway these are the movies I've watched Luckily, no turkeys, even though I'm sure there's some people might debate that the Fifty Shades of Grey is a turkey because they, were, after reading the book, they were disappointed in the movie. But that's what I've watched. I hope you've enjoyed the movies that you've watched. And as always, don't run out of popcorn.